in this video, I will show you how to enable DLSS on any game that supports DLSS natively on non-RTX GPUs. The first thing you need to remember is that this mod doesn't come with a frame generation option. This video is about enabling DLSS on non-RTX GPUs. I don't have an AMD GPU, so I don't know if this will work for them. But if you do and it works, please make sure to let people know in the comments. First, you need the upscaler, or should I say, the DLSS enabler. You can download this from the link in the description or by joining my Discord server. You can ask for support here. There are some smart people. After that, you need to find the game application location, not the launcher location. For example, in the game Pacific Drive, if you have a desktop icon, right-click on it and click Open File Location. If you put files in the launcher location, the mod will not work. Let's install this on Cyberpunk and see how it works. Copy all the files from the upscaler and paste them into the application location, or in this case, here. After you've done that, you need to open the DLSS Overrides folder and run the Enable Signature Override Registry file. If you miss this step, you won't see the DLSS option in the game menu, so this is an important step. Now you can open the game. Here's the thing. This mod has FSR options too, which I will show you in a minute. I am using the free version of the game, but it will work on the premium version too. After you enter the game, go to the settings and enable DLSS. Without enabling DLSS in the game settings, you can't activate the mod. In this game, you can also choose DLAA. If you can't see the DLSS option in the settings menu, you either forgot to run the registry file or there's something completely different which I haven't faced. If you have a low-end CPU, your FPS may drop like mine because DLSS eases the load on the GPU, resulting in an increased load on the CPU. After that, press the insert key on your keyboard. You should get a menu. In here, you can choose various upscaling options. Play around with these settings. I haven't experienced any crashes or errors when I tested. For me, DLSS is the best option. Excess is good too. Choose whatever you like. You can close the menu by pressing the same insert key. So that's it for this game. In some games, the process is a little bit different. Let's do the same steps for Pacific Drive. After everything, you can enable DLSS. But in my case, when I press the insert key, nothing happens. If you face this bug in any other game, do this. Go to the game file location and open the nvngx.ini file. In the upscalers section, you can see upscaling options for DX11, DX12, and Vulkan. You need to find what your game is using. In this case, Pacific Drive uses DX12. So what you need to do is, in the DX12 upscaler settings, change the auto option to DLSS or your preferred upscaling method and save the file. I wouldn't touch any other options in this file. When you do this, you select DLSS or the option you chose before opening the game, so the mod menu is irrelevant. Only do this if you can't open the mod menu. 
and if you want to uninstall the mod, you can either disable DLSS in the game or delete the files that you copied earlier. So, you can use this mod for any game that supports DLSS natively. GTX and maybe AMD users can use that extra FPS in modern games. So that's it. See you again.